Remember when I 3D printed my own EMS light enclosure? Well, things just got interesting. Hovox sent me their professional molded version. And the difference is incredible. Let me show you why this might be the upgrade your EMS light has been waiting for. I have already created two videos about 3D printed enclosures. But this molded solution take things to completely different level. Before we get started, let me show you what comes in the box. Right off the bat, you can see the professional packaging and inside a instruction manual. First, we have a top covers with a built-in humidity meter. They are transparent so you can see through to monitor your filament. And they have a rubber coating for perfect seal. We get four of these with the number markings. 10 silica gel desiccant packets totaling 20 grams of moisture control. Number buckles to tighten the buckets together securely. Two drying boxes specifically designed for desiccant storage. 8 stand legs for vertical placement option. Spare ceiling strips and rubber plugs. 4 premium enclosure buckets with rubber plugs that have tiny holes for filament feeding. Center buckles to connect the top covers and create a unified seal. 16 functional locks. The quality is sturdy and designed to secure each cover properly. And remaining 3 enclosure buckets. The attention to detail is impressive. Everything is numbered and color coded for easy assembly. Installation is surprisingly straightforward. Let me walk you through it step by step. First, let's quickly remove my old heavy printed AMS enclosure and return the AMS slide to stop mode. Now for assembly, I will connect enclosure buckets 3 and 4 together. Because of to connect them, the desiccant storage drying box snapped perfectly in the middle. I will repeat the same process for the other two buckets. Now for the 20 grams of desiccant, let's put them into the drying boxes. The dryer box has a screw lid which is tight but very well designed. Inside the 20 grams of silica gel fits perfectly with space to store additional desiccant if needed. Each bucket gets a separate drying compartment. This is where the moisture control happens. With the buckets ready, let's bring back our AMS slide. I am removing the 4 rotary spool holders first. Now carefully inserting buckets 3 and 4 into the AMS slide. Then reattaching the rotary holders. Same process for the other side. Inserting the buckets 1 and 2, then rotary holders. Now I am removing the number stickers so they won't interfere with the filament spools. For the top lids, we need to attach 4 locks on each one. This lock mechanism helps the lid attach tightly to the enclosure buckets. Leave no room for moisture and dust particles. After attaching the 4 locks on each lid, it locks onto the buckets very securely. Each lead also has an inbuilt humidity meter that requires LR44 batteries. We can also remove and rotate the humidity meter. You will see why this humidity meter rotating feature is really helpful in a moment. After attaching the leads, we have the center buckles to make the assembly more airtight. The other side follows the same steps. Then we attach the numbered buckles which is bind all buckets together. Final step, inserting two standing legs on each side of the enclosure buckets. Now the assembly is complete. Here how it looks. Absolutely amazing. Now let's talk about real work performance. Let's connect our Avon Mini to it. The best thing about this enclosure is we can open each bucket's lid individually. Just remove the middle buckle and the four lid locks and it opens. Here is a small catch. First we need to insert the filament into the AMS machine. Then attach the spool to the rotary mechanism and close the lid. Works well and definitely seals our filament spool safely from dust and moisture. Now here is something interesting. Remember those standing legs we installed? We can actually position this whole enclosure vertically. But for that, we need to remove the AMS light tripod using an Allen key. If you are planning to use the vertical position, I recommend removing the AMS light tripod before installing everything. It will save you time from having to disassemble and reassemble like I did. 
now attaching the buckets again look at this we can now easily stand the whole ammo slide vertically before putting the leads back on we need to adjust the hygrometer position to match the vertical orientation for all the leads notice how the hygrometer position can adjust when mounted vertically here we go look how cool this is it can save significant desk space and we can flip it if we want other side up the vertical setup looks incredible clean and professional let's attach the ptfe tubes and ams light to the even mini and insert the filament spools again and we are ready to print what sets this apart from 3d printed versions here are the major advantages first precision molded parts create perfect cells those rubber gaskets fit with zero tolerance creating an airtight environment that's very difficult to achieve with a 3d printed parts second integrated hygrometers in each cover eliminate guesswork you can monitor humidity levels without opening the enclosure third the modular design means each spool gets its own sealed compartment and i love the transfer and leads which really helps to monitor our filament spools fourth durability injection molded parts won't warp or degrade over time like some 3d printed alternatives fifth time saving this saves 14 to 20 hours of printing time compared to a 3d printed enclosures and the perfect fit eliminates the trial and error of a printed tolerance on edge assessment and areas for improvement nothing's perfect so let's address some considerations filament loading and unloading can be bit tricky you need to insert the filament head into the machine before installing the spool and sometimes the rubber plugs can become an obstacle also since we can't remove the dryer box so with the limited space when the removing spools sometimes the bucket edges can scratch fingernails and skin which can be painful but if you are careful during the spool removal it's manageable another minor thing the front transparent panel does get a scratches and a fingerprints even with a careful handling the transparent panel might be a bit sensitive but it's not a major issue just handle it carefully these are very minor issues but overall i absolutely love this enclosure moisture control is significantly better humidity levels remain stable even in the high moisture environments filament quality preservation is noticeable especially with a hygroscopic material like nylon and ptg the modular design means you can serve individual compartments without affecting others this professional solution will cost more than a 3d printed enclosure but is it worth upgrading if you are facing filament moisture and dust issues and want to protect your filament absolutely this hovax amx enclosure excels in every detail independent compartment access with hygrometers compact drying box design vertical positioning option rubber gaskets that unlocks a truly airtight environment and that premium look and feel check out hovax amx light enclosure link in the description what do you think Are you ready to upgrade to a professional molded enclosure or are you happy with the DIY 3D printed solutions let me know in the comments i do love to hear about your AMS light setup and any modifications you have made if you found this review helpful hit that like button and subscribe for more 3D printing content i have got several modes and upgrades coming up that you won't want to miss thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video